PeachTools.com. Great to see you back here again, guys. I was in the workshop this morning and was trying to muck around, trying to cut some shapes with the old plasma cutter. I wanted to do a couple of half circles about, about Yo Big, and I was having all sorts of issues. My freehand cutting is not that flashy, as you probably know if you watch any of my videos. So I figured out a quick and easy way to do it that costs two fifths to nothing. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com, and let's watch this video, eh? See this plasma cutting table I knocked up out of some scrap steel I found from the dump on another video we did the other day, guys. I'll put some links down below or for this video if you want to know how to make one of these. But it's making my life a hell of a lot easier. I should have done it years ago, eh? Anyway, what I'm trying to do, basically sort of like cut a half round out of here. I like go up there and round there. And what I normally do, guys, well, what I started doing anyway, was this. I just grabbed a bit of old uh, engineer's chalk like that, an old piece of wire, and I put my chalk in the wire like so, just to give me some sort of guide, you know, and then measure it roughly out, you know, so like halfway, a little bit more, like halfway, and then draw my half circle like so, cool, and then cut it out freehand, so we'll cut that out freehand and see what it looks like guys, I don't know if you guys freehand cutting is any better than mine, but mine really sucks anyway, we'll give it a go. What do you reckon? It's half round, sort of like. <laughs> yeah, wow. You know how it is, guys. It's a bit sucky. Like I said, I'm not much good at it. I don't know if you guys are any better than me, but this is pretty sucky as far as I'm concerned. So I had to make three or four of these, so I've had to figure out a better way to do it. And this is what I come up with, guys. If you've ever seen this stuff, guys, it's just like magnetic tape. It's really, really cheap. And I thought, oh, no, that's not going to work because it's just going to get hot and it's going to melt and do all sorts of things. So anyway, I just brought a roll, it's bugger all, I think it's about $3 or something stupid like that. I'll put some links down below if you want to have a go at it yourself. I'll show you what happened, guys. When I brought this, guys, I just got two packs, basically for the price of one. So uh, we'll just use the old one that I've got lying around here, saves me opening the new one. You know how cheap I am, guys. <laughs> it's just magnetic tape like you get on your fridge. You know, like the kids have fridge magnets and that sort of thing. This is exactly what this is, but it's in long lengths. So you can get however long a length you want. And I thought it would be ideal for um, cutting out like panels on, on bodywork on your car for a body shop or something like that. So you can get the contours in that. Anyway, I'll show you what I mean. So if we stick them on there like that, what I found was the easiest is if you put them on your steel first and then move to the shape that you want. If you understand what I'm saying, I'll show you. See how I'm, see how I'm working it around, guys? Just so you can keep it flat. See, that's not really the shape we want. See, that's coming out too much of a, well, an oval for me. We want something about this shape, but better looking than this shape. You know what I mean? So if I put that on there, and then we just um, pull, leave it stuck on your steel, and then just pull one end of it until we can go to get the shape. So it just keeps it on the steel. See that? See how we're coming into the shape now? So if we do that, and we pull them down like so, and then we do the same on the other side, but make sure you keep it flat, guys. You can't do really, really tight circles. That's the only thing I found with this. But you can get it pretty bloody close. You can see that there. Almost the same shape there. So we might pull it a little bit more and make it a little bit tighter, guys. So that's quite tight. So we can either cut around the outside of it or we can cut around the inside of it. So anyway, let's give that a crack, Nigel, and see what happens. See that, guys? It's not a bad shape on there, and that's what I'm saying with the body panels and that sort of thing. You could, If you had to cut different angles, you know, if you're repairing car bodies or something like that, then you'd be able to use this, and you'd be able to, like, trace your old panel, cut it out, and then just tap weld it in. Anyway, that's my thoughts, anyway. All right, it's a pretty bloody good way of doing it, but let's see. All right, guys, let's see if it actually works.
are we in up with guys? What do you reckon? Let's take it off. What do you reckon guys? Ha <laughs> ha! It's not too bad is it? Look at this here. So we've got the freehand one here which sucks. We've got the one I did with a magnet strip here. Pretty cool eh? <laughs> And then we've got the other end of it that you could use for something else as well. You've got your shape on this end too. So all in all, I reckon it's pretty damn good for doing shapes, guys. So we'll do this again, guys. We'll see if we can cut a tighter shape in here. And this stuff here lasts for ages. Once again, lay it out over whatever you're cutting, guys. Like so. So just pull it, if you want it smaller guys, just pull it in from the ends like this, like hold your finger up there, and just pull it in from the ends. That way it stays stuck to your steel, and you don't get any ripples in it. So we'll see how tight we can get it. What do you reckon? We'll cut that shape out, eh? You try and do that freehand, that's gonna sucky, sucky, sucky. Anyway, guys, I'll try and cut this out. Hee <laughs> hee! So, guys, we'll try and cut a tighter corner, eh? Alright guys, what do we end up with this time? Take them off. Hee <laughs> hee! There you go, tighter corner. Awesome, eh? <laughs> I reckon it's pretty cool. And this is the other half of it, guys. We make all sorts of weird and wonderful shapes. <laughs> so guys, let's have a go at doing a different contour, eh? Like I say, stick it on your steel first. So go like, I'm going to go from corner to corner here. Stick it on like that. And then just use your finger to do whatever shape you want. That way it sticks to your steel. I tried doing it in the shape to start off with and it doesn't stick to the steel properly. So what you want to do is lay it on there like that. Remember this one here is old. This is probably two months old, this piece of magnetic tape. I just stick it on the side of my workshop and then I just drag it out when I need it. So anyway, so you start off from edge to edge and then do whatever contour you want. So if I want to come down like that, then we'll come up like that. And then we might go across like so, like that. We'll bring them down and then I want a bit more of a loop in here. Ideal for designing, oh, I reckon it's oh, brilliant for designing stuff. Say Bragman's sake, I wanted that contour. I mean, you try doing that freehand, you got no show. Show, no show, and shit show guys are doing that freehand. Anyway, we'll see if I can do it. See if I can cut it out. Hee hee! Oh yeah, let's have a go with this, guys. Hee ha! Freehand, guys. Look at those shapes. Ah, oh, I'm easily amused, as you can see, guys. I reckon that's pretty awesome. <laughs> well, like I say, it doesn't take much to amuse old Pete. And the other side, guys. There you go. Look at that, eh? What can we call that? What does that look like? A flounder? Nah, it doesn't look like a flounder. Might get some sort of fish out of it. Does that look like a fish or what? Hey, <laughs> you're an idiot, mate. You're a total idiot. So I thought that was quite a good idea, guys, for a couple of bucks. It, it seems to work really, really good. Anyway, that's my thoughts. You might have a better way of doing it. Same as usual. You like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com. And you too can cut out fancy shapes like this.
See you later, guys. PeachTools.com. PeachTools.com.